Hey everybody, and welcome back to my, uh, second Forge tutorial. Um, uh, I know I probably, I know I said I probably wouldn't do any more tutorials, but I just want to show you the mod a little more. So, if you haven't seen my How to Spawn a Campaign Falcon tutorial, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to, uh, to do, do File share, go to new custom search, uh, do filtered search, uh, search uh, author tag, well, not author, but tag, uh, SVE Mythic Slayer. It's going to be by Trusty Snooze. And since I've already done another tutorial that features me actually doing that, I am not going to go over it here. Um, so, what we're going to do. So we're going to go to uh, Forge World, make sure that the game type is SVE Mythic Slayer by, I'm just going to show you the author, Trusty Snooze, shout out to him again. Uh, he His mods are going to help me make Machinimas, actually he already has, uh, if you haven't seen the target on 434 Productions. Uh, that's my other channel for machinimas and before I do anything I just um, for all my subscribers and people who are not yet subscribers I would really appreciate it if you at least subscribe to that channel 434 productions um, I right now it only has three subscribers which is kind of weird considering I have right now 17 subscribers so it just strikes me as odd that I only have three of my 17 subscribers subscribe to my Machinima channel. Uh, so it would mean a lot if you guys would just um, go ahead and subscribe to that channel. You don't even have to watch anything, just subscribe is all. So what we're going to do here is, geez, I haven't even mentioned what we're going to do. I haven't been thinking. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be spawning a troop warthog. So, what we're going to do is we're going to spawn a, do, 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 let's go spawning, and we're going to spawn a respawn point. Oh, there are my dogs. Hold on. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a respawn point. Uh, you can do this part before or after setting it down. But we're going to go to advanced spawn properties. We're going to do spawn sequence as, let's see, I think it's 14. We're going to go down to spawner. No, I'm just gonna uh, yeah, 14. And then the game type label one to the left is spawner and let's turn up the max count let's do 250 we can have 250 troop warthogs if we want now that's going to be the troop warthog and change the color if you want to just go red team and then uh for the grenader warthog which is not what it sounds like. It doesn't have a grenade launcher on the back. It's a troop warthog. Let's make it blue. With two grenade launchers in the back. So now you can. Now you can sit in the back of the warthog. So spawn sequence for that is 19. So I'm going to go one to the left. Make that a spawner. Place that down. And let's save this map. Because it's not going to work in Forge, so you have to um, go into custom games, and then it'll work. Let's make this Warthogs. Oh, I named it Wathogs. Oops. Uh, okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to end the game, game go back into over. custom games. And we'll have our two cool warthogs. Now, I haven't seen 
any grenader warthogs in any machinimas see there it is white hogs oops uh but i mean if you want it i think they're pretty gosh darn awesome especially if you don't want to use like a normal warthog and then in this one you can use you can seat up to four people in a single warthog so that's pretty cool. And it might be more effective than a normal warthog, so who knows. Fiesta. And here we go. We have our two warthogs. This is going to be a normal spawn. Uh, the normal scout warthog. As you can see. Do -do -do. It's got the little roll cage thing in the back. Unfortunately, you cannot sit in the back, unless you count crouched in the back as sitting, but that's not very effective in gameplay. And you can drive around in it. This is one of my favorite warthogs, just because it's like, I don't know, it's just fun to drive around. And then, we have our grenader warthog over here. You can see the grenade launchers right here in the back. They are from the... Uh, grenade launchers from the single, no, not single mission, uh, from the uh, campaign. They are the grenade launchers. So, see, you can sit in here, you can launch grenades pretty fast. I love doing this. Dink! Where'd it go? Woo! Look at it fly. And it sticks to the wall. And then you can drive around, of course. And just imagine a couple people sitting in the back firing grenades. That'd probably look really cool. Uh, so yeah, there's my second mod tutorial. Thank you to Trusty Snooze, and I guess Mike WB. If you haven't heard of him. He's a YouTuber. He does Halo Reach Machinimas. Um, well, he only did one or two. But he's part of Black Plasma Studios, I guess. Uh, shout out to him. He's the one that originally taught me how to do this. Well, not personally, but in his video. Uh, he taught me. He uh, showed everybody, I guess, in his video how to do these mods so thanks to him and trusty snooze um and that's it peace out thanks for watching uh let me know if you want to see another tutorial on something that you think may not be very clear in other videos i would be glad to do that